In a small town where the whiskey flows, Christy Nicholson's heart it always knows. She's got a tough spirit and a gentle soul. Her story, the kind we all want to know. From the cotton fields to the honky tonk bars, Christy's voice carries like a shooting star. She sings of heartbreak, love, and second chances. Her songs touch us all in all life circumstances. Oh, Christy Nicholson, the songs they bring us home. Through laughter and tears, you're never alone. You capture the spirit of this small town love. With every word and every note, you rise Good morning. Oh, what's up, guys? How is everybody doing? Give me a minute. Happy Pride Month, y'all. How is everybody doing this this afternoon? Um, Hey guys, how is everybody? Hey, what's up? Holyoke, I'm sending I'll send you a link. Let me get these stuff first. Let me um um Good morning. How is everyone? Hey guys. I'll send you a link, Holyo. Give me a minute. Guys, good morning. How is ever? Oh, good afternoon, guys. Good evening. Hey guys, um,
Yeah, um... Yeah, IG, yeah, IG. Give me one minute because I'm sending I'm I'm getting the stream shared out first. Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, all right. The first. Corn. I'm coming. I'm uh, give me a minute. It's Instagram, by the way. I'm doing Instagram. Yeah, uh, this is Toyoke. How you doing? What up? How you feeling, brother? How you doing today? Fantastic. It got off to a real rough start, but we really pulled the nose up, and now we're sailing at about fifteen thousand feet, smooth sailing. Yeah. Hey, I wanna, I wanna say this. Number one, I did see your thing about Bubba. But he uh one nine and you're still muted. Yeah, that's fine. Thing is, it's like you're you're a big star, but the thing is, is like a lot of those guys they don't give a shit. That's fine. You that's know, because they Rhett, Rhett, that's because Rhett, they don't listen. Rhett, did, Rhett doesn't care. Rhett didn't care when Rhett was running a lot of this stuff. Rhett wasn't even giving a shit about stuff. Rat wasn't right. even run. He would just claim that he doesn't know nothing about nothing. It's not his end of things. He's staying out of it. That was his approach. When in actuality, all he has to do is flick a switch and everything will be back on it. So he is in control. Just like the last time that I was muted out of Rumble, I was chatting. I, I, I had Friday to chat fine. I came back on Monday. And then I, I get timed out four sentences in. And then all of a sudden, Rhett comes in right after the, the, I get timed out and says, I had nothing to do with that in capital letters. I promise. Come yeah. on. Man. Here, here's the thing. Red is a moderator over there. Did you know that? Yeah, I know everything about everything. That's the sad part is the fact that, that I have to, and we all have to accept this, even though a lot of people don't feel that it's right. But 
Bubba has to keep the money coming in. He has to keep the money makers, the people that throw him bread, happy. And I understand that yeah. completely. So that's why when I do have opportunities to go on the air, I don't complain about being timed out. I don't complain about being muted. I don't complain about problems with other people in the Bubba Army. That's what, she, I that's bring what you don't content. do. I drive it's content. A, I'm a content creator. I, when when, I, when are, I Go ahead. Sorry. When you go on Bubba's show, do not bring up anything that's happened in the chat because he doesn't know what's going on in the chat. And he doesn't care either. He, wait a minute, must, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He just cared all of a sudden. I think it was last week. Somebody said something in the chat. And all of a sudden, the talk of him shutting down the chat and not allowing the chat anymore and chat is bad. All that topic came up when one person said one bad thing. But the last thing spoken on the last chat, the weekend show on Rumble, the last thing spoken by the Richard Gary Longwood said, Kill yourself, Joe. But I have that screenshot mm. saved. I've already shared it on Facebook. I've shared it on Instagram. I shared it to Lumix and I shared it to Rhett. Yeah, and the thing is, when here's the thing. The only here's the thing. Lummy is even even all the songs that I've done, stuff that I've did for Lumix has it all in his emails. Because I send it to Lumix. I don't send it to Baba. I was told send it to Lumix. Are you using the Bub Army HQ email? No, no, I'm using uh, Lummy's email. Lummy BT, I think it's Lummy BTS, uh, BTLS at Gmail or something like that. That's the direct. Yeah, they they're really hot on the new BubArmy.com emails. So, like, if you were to email Lummy at BubArmyHQ.com, yeah. that's that's where everybody's checking the emails every day. Maybe they're this not was, even checking the was, other this, one. Was, this was a year ago. This was years ago. This was a, oh, okay. before. Well, in all was, fairness, we know what a star Dark Match Steve is. And he yeah. had a song that dropped in Bubba's lap a couple days ago. And it didn't get played until like yesterday or the day before. So it sat there all week. Bubba had it. Bubba was going to play it. And then it sat there for two more days. And then Bubba finally played it. So if Dark Match Steve can't get a song played, you can only imagine how hard it would be yeah, for you to get a song played. If that makes any sense. The thing is, the thing is, it's like I'm I'm Bubba Army. I Bubba Army the stuff. The thing is, it was when you know. But the thing is, I he he just here's the thing. He I see some of the things that he's trying to sell and stuff. But the thing is, it's like he's the one that is trying to like he he's the one that has to make the money. Well, you know what the he, craziest thing is? He's the one that comes out in the air and he says he wants the unboxings. He wants the the opening up of the sneakers and he wants the opening up of the new cologne, the Bubba Army Alpha. And he wants all that video, right? Yeah. Well, I feel I asked Lummy first. I said, Can I film it in shorts or do I need to film it directly from the camera and send it to the email? He said, send it to the email, not to me. And he said, um, send it in shorts are fine. So I filmed the YouTube short of opening unboxing the sneakers. I filmed the YouTube short of unboxing the cologne. And I filmed the yeah. YouTube sort of unboxing the Stanley inspired new Bubba Army Tumblr book. So I already did all that. Yet what Bubba's playing on his show is people you can't understand that don't even talk, that you don't even see their faces, and they open something, and then that's it, and it's over with. What's the where's the fucking fun yeah. of that? If you have you watched my unboxings, have you seen any of my YouTube shorts that I've I'm seen, putting out? I've seen I've seen the shorts a little bit because I've been dealing with some of the things that you know. Dude, there's so many people now that are doing like I don't get why you know the is you know a lot of Hall of Famers should not be Hall of Famers. The ones that need to be the Hall of Famers are the Holyoke Joes, the people that have been there since day one. Yeah, but you gotta know, brother, before, I know this. Then, the then you'll day, be, it'll be easier before, on your mind when you realize that the Hall of Fame is not. A Hall of Famer who drove the most content. It's not a Hall of Famer who been there the longest. It's not a Hall of Famer who been the most loyal or who knows the most people or who knows the most information or who retains the most. Bubba trivia. It's about who gives money. That's it. That's why somebody that could literally just start listening to the show in 2021 could be in the Hall of Fame now because they gave enough money to do so. People that I never heard about in 2017, 18, people that I never heard about in 2003, 2002. Now, all of a sudden, they're relevant because they gave money. And I understand business, 
So I have to accept that. Until Bubba signs a million dollar, two million dollar contract with Sirius, and he doesn't need these fuckers' money anymore, then we could go back to normal. Then we could go back yeah. to when the show is fun. Then we could go back to when Bubba's the listener, not going to sign that contract. Bubba's not going to sign a contract with Sirius. He's. I'm I'm being hypothetical here. I'm saying if he signed a a, a deal with 102.5 the bone after they fired Calta, I'm playing hypotheticals. Not to say yeah. that it'll ever happen, but I'm saying if he did, yeah. and he, he wouldn't, it wouldn't be a listener-funded show anymore, and then he could go back to being the Bubba Love Sponge that he was, and instead of kowtowing to a bunch of glorified trolls, he can actually do something and and respect the people that have been there all the time. Yeah, and by the way, I want to say that that the shows that we do out loud it's like when you do a show you have so when i called in to the bubba the low Sponge show you have you when i called in on kevin's law they i actually here's the thing they keep you on the line until and then anna when anna this was on when anna was still there and was hosting the show basically was like saying oh he uh, Kevin loved the song. Problem is, I lost all my stuff when I was like changing computers. I lost all of my files because I I saved. I try to save everything. I would. I did. I changed a lot of the stuff. Now here's the thing. Like I was like telling people back in the day when I was interviewing when I interviewed Ed Till. When I interviewed Aaron Emholt, when I interviewed a lot of those guys, I Aaron was Neville was singer. Ed Till, the uh, no um, Aaron Neville. You, you said Aaron Neville. No, that is no, 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 Aaron Emholt, Emholt oh. from Silta. You know Ed Till, right? Yeah, I heard about him. I think he's on eight twenty a.m. in the morning in Tampa, right? He's he he did he did uh he was at he. Here's the thing. It was it was um Baba. Then it was Justin, then it was Ed, then it was uh, Shannon Burke. So is Ed Till the program director at 8.20 a.m. in Tampa right now? Or do I have confused yeah, with somebody he, else? He, he was Florida Man Radio. He was part of Florida Man. That's where he's – so he's not in Tampa. He's in, in Orlando. Orlando. That's right. Okay, so did he have a show on where the Don Miller show is now that Ed Till used to have a show on from 10 to 12? Or ten and three before Shannon. No, it, it was ten. I think it was. I think it was though. It was. I think it was like eleven to twelve because ten to eleven was uh, Justin Clark. I think his name is. Oh, I did. He have a hot girl. I think Justin Clark had a wicked hot girlfriend, right? I think. So. And he would have I, her on the air. I I be very honest. I would. When they streamed on Facebook, I was just waiting for Ed to come on. Mm, I, ne they... I never listened. I know Bubba talked about the guy after him had a hot girlfriend. And one time yeah. I looked at her and I'm like, all right, I get it. I see it. She looks nice. Oh, Michaela. But... Michaela. While I'm talking about Michaela, let me bring up another name similar. Marissa. Is today Marissa Sparkle's birthday? Yes. Awesome. Well, happy birthday, Marissa Sparkles. You want to sing happy yeah. birthday to her? I already did. I already made a Let's video. Let's do it again. Let's do a duet. You didn't sing it with me. Let's go. Uh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Marissa Sparkles. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yippee! Yeah, oh, happy you know, birthday! You know, I just Aaron uh, over the he what he needs to do he needs Aaron M. Holt needs to keep his fucking mouth shut. He needs to listen. Here's the thing: I know a couple more. We know Dan Diaco. Dan Diaco would have said would say something about it. Dan and Jay would say he needs to keep. Jay will even say this. Jay Diaco will say he needs to keep his fucking mouth shut. I don't know what he's saying. Is that the guy from from uh, what's that show called? Steel Toe. Steel Toe Morris show. Here's the uh, he his his wife is sorry ex wife future ex wife is 
his uh, um, they're separated, and his friends Nick and Kayla Ricada actually got arrested for drug possession. And Nick's, wow, they're looking twenty for like twenty something years. Okay, and that, like they found twenty five gram. I think it was twenty seven or twenty five grams of um of of coke, and they also found ketamine and also spent. Hell shot. yeah. They spent spent case, and the thing is, because idiot, because Nick Ricardo didn't give them the door code. They had the ram door open. They had the ram huh. door. That's funny. So the guy, I've been the guy, reading about guy, it, but right, the guy the guy was actually a legal YouTuber, where he goes after um he goes he went he was he did some stuff with for the uh for um uh Kyle Rittenhouse trial. I'm not familiar with Kyle Rittenhouse. I know the name, but I don't know what he did. I think he, uh, George Floyd. Wait a minute. Kyle Rittenhouse is one of the cops? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So I've been seeing in Bubba's chat room, everybody's been talking about it for the past couple of days, talking about the drama on the steel toe and how it's really, really off the chain. Are they yeah. still doing a show? Because nobody says more beyond that. They don't talk about the drama itself. They're just like, man, there's a lot of drama over on Steel Toe. Yeah, the thing is, it's like, I don't watch a lot of Steel Toe. The reason why I try not to talk about it on the shows is because of all the bull crap that he, he here's the thing. And like I'm saying this before, Dan, sh Dan, Dan will say, dude, Dan will, if, if, if Aaron, if Dan, no, if Aaron was one of Dan's clients, <laughs> Uh, Diaco, Diaco. Oh, really, Doctor Dan? Because Doctor Dan's a lawyer. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about a Dan on the Steel Toe Show. No, I was told. I was. I was saying if 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 they, if, uh, if Aaron was one of Dan's clients or Jay's clients, right? Or or Babyface's clients, they would tell him to shut the up about it. Right. Right. But that's hard to do when you're in entertainment and you got something going on in your life and you're like me, you just want to tell everything without thinking first. That yeah. Bubba got me on that. I, I was never like that. I was an introvert. But through yeah. much, much time and effort, Bubba got me to be the one that just opens up listen, and says crazy listen. stuff. Like, And, and to me, it's normal. To me, talking crazy is normal. And so I think that everybody gets it. When I talk crazy, they just write it off to, oh, that's just Holy Oak Joe being crazy again. But I was I was looking at like Anna does a stream with this guy Will Koontz on Wednesday nights, and I type into the stream first because I'm always first at every chat room, first thumbing because I'm always the first to give a liking, and then God bless whoever the hosts are on the show. I do that for every show yeah. that I'm, that I that I look at. Right. Well, yeah. then I got a call. So so the, they put up. You know, how you can put up a YouTube stream like 15 minutes before, and people can live chat. Oh, until the show starts. So yeah. I typed that all in at like 545. Well, I got a call and it was from my aunt and she was in the hospital and she told me what condition my mom was in. So I typed next in the chat. My mom just got whatever at the hospital. She's got this going on. You know, it was very blanket. It wasn't like in depth. It wasn't detailed, but it was just mom my mom. Passed away. This when your mom passed away. So this was the night that she 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 went to the hospital that afternoon. So she went to the hospital on Wednesday. So Wednesday is when Anna and Will do the podcast. So yeah. I just happened to type in the chat because I'm the kind of person that just tells everything all the time. I typed in a chat after first, first thumb and God bless Will and Anna Hummel. I typed something else. I'm ready to rock. But after that, I typed my mother is in the hospital and she just got intubated or something. It was, it wasn't in depth. It was one quick sentence. Yeah. My mother's in the hospital and that's, and I just found out or something like that. Right. So will the host couldn't understand why anybody would put that in a chat. I just found out it's real. I live my life in front of, in front of the world. So I typed in a chat. Hey, my mom just got taken to the hospital. Like, and, and 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 the prognosis wasn't good. And then she passed away the next morning. So I just don't understand. Like in Europe, let me ask you in your opinion, if you're yeah. hosting, right? Like you do. And I come in the chat and I find out while we're chatting 
that I got another call. Hey, your mother's this and that. And I type in the chat, hey, my mom, this and that. Is that not like normal or is that abnormal? It, what is your opinion? It, it, it is normal. Let me tell you something. When my dad passed away, um, I was three. It was uh, was four, 13, four, and my brother calls me. I, this was before I was even streaming. I was doing stuff. And my brother calls me and says, John, I just went to heaven. John is my real name. And, and that really hurt me because my dad was my dad was sent to the hospital. We and then we moved him from from our local hospital, but he wasn't doing good. He wasn't eating. We couldn't get him to eat anything. They couldn't get him to eat anything there. I was trying to keep the house from, I had to stay here at the house and help the house by myself. What was the, under, what was the underlying cause? What was the, the big problem when it was all liver said failure, and done? Liver failure and kidney failure because of alcohol. Wow. Now what sucks about my situation is the hospital killed my mother. They had an opportunity to save her life. Our hospital, our hospital killed my mom. Our local hospital killed uh, Miss my mom, and I actually have I have two I have two older brothers. I had an older sister, older brothers, and they're all still so, okay. They're all still doing good. They, they, two one one's in a wheelchair, and one right now is is the rock of the family. Wow. Ray is the rock of the fam. Ray is the rock of the family. I'm so, very appreciative. So, I'm very appreciative so, having him in my life, having someone in my life that can help me with stuff that I don't know about. And there's things that I don't even tell my my brother. I have, I have to make I have to make up something because they when they try to call me and I don't answer because I have it muted because of of day 25's bullshit I have to make up a, I have to make up an excuse just to uh tell not tell them what was going really going on because I've been dealing with this privately because I'm so sick and tired of people I lost my father 4 years ago I lost my sister 2 months I lost my real sister months ago. Two months? Two months. Um, I think you, it was. And, and the thing is, is I don't know the COD on that. I never even knew that that happened. Uh, two months ago, it was on a Sunday, and my um, and my niece messaged me, "Are you okay?" Because she that didn't know that I didn't even she. She didn't know that she didn't I know didn't you know. didn't know. And um and she come up she and she said my sister died, your sister died. And I was like, oh sh I'm like and, and, and hey, what's up, Jim? And I wanna say that uh and I do appreciate, you know, here here's the thing, Joe. I want to say thank you to call me Michaela. By the way, I ordered Michaela one of my shirts. She's getting the uh, lo she getting the new logo shirt. I ordered her one of my new shirts. I wonder where she is. I haven't talked to her in a long time. Oh, uh, she's she's right now in she's in Vegas right now. She's wow, for, for Hackamania. That's cool. I want to say thank you to anyone that has been supporting the streams and stuff. And I, I wish that people, um, people don't see the real side of these shows. You know, um, did you do you think that Anna had something to do with what happened with Blitz? No, not at all. She may have been a benefactor of some of the things that he bought with the account, but other than that. She, listen to this, just put yourself in her shoes. Like it's, it's hard to do, but now you come to a place of business, you come to work a year later, you happen to fall in love with somebody that's at the top level of the business. So now you're doing real good. Now you're, you're almost locked in at work. You, you can't fail because you're dating somebody, you're dating the EP, 
you're dating the executive producer. So life is really good. Your relationship is good. Your job is good. Life is good, right? Now, yeah. all of a sudden, it comes down. He gets caught. So now he has to go. But ironically enough and oddly enough, she has to stay. So that puts her in a horrible position. Technically, she should have left too. When he got fired, she should have left too. Yeah. But instead, a year's um, worth of, 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 of harbored resentment and disdain for him was taken out on her for a full year until they reached a breaking point when she got caught looking for another job without asking Bubba first. So then she got fired. But, I mean, yeah. all the while, she, they were just looking for a reason to fire her. But all the while, on air, Bubba was saying, nobody's going to get fired. Everybody's locked in. Everybody's all set. The show is good. The show is exactly how I want it to be. Nobody's getting fired. So yeah. it just put her in an impossible spot. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Do you break up with the person you're with and quit your job and have nothing? Is that what she was supposed to do to make everybody happy? She's in an impossible situation where she can't make people happy. The best thing she could have done, number one, is just not get with Blitz. Then she would have. But then, by getting really with Blitz, cares about but, Bubba, the uh, Adam, Adam, if Adam, um, Adam, let me tell you this. One of the things is Bubba had, you know, now Bubba's, you know, here's here, and, and here's the thing going back to the Aaron stuff. Who who care? Who the fuck cares about Aaron M. Hole right now? Do you know this? Do you know this? Do you know this Aaron guy? That I just saw his little comment come up. Do you know that person? That that's at, that was at, that wasn't Aaron. That was Adam. Right. I'm I said say, Adam. I'm say that's that, why I asked. I'm I said, you know, do you know Adam? Supporter. Adam's a, Adam is a supporter of the channels and stuff. Okay. So if Adam is a supporter of the channel, then he supports what you're talking about. He supports your topics. So we can sit here and stare at each other with dead air and not say anything and be boring. Or we could talk about a topic, the topic being Bubba. Are we talking good about Bubba? Are we talking bad about Bubba? Okay, who the fuck cares about Bubba, according to Adam, right? So let's change the topic. Since we're gonna, since Adam is your yeah. producer, and Adam is going to be the one that drives the topics on your show, let's ask Adam, what would you like us to talk about, Adam? What would make you happy, Adam? By the way, no one cares about, uh, this is talking about Bubba. No one cares about him now. It's not 1999. Okay. Is, so is, let's talk is, about someone about or something else. Either. How about instead of complaining about what we're talking about, no, talk no, about no, something I, you Jake, want to talk that about. Doesn't mean I agree with Jake 100% of the time. There, there's people. Here's, here's the thing. What I'm going to say about uh, Aaron, Aaron should have kept his mouth, keeps his mouth, needs to keep his fucking mouth shut about this case until the case goes to trial or. And, Bobby, you can let yourself in. Boom. Mr. Joe, how's it going, man? I'm fantastic. I'm just looking at this, uh, the last chat there. I didn't see it. Jake took it down. Jake, can you put it back up so I can read it? Okay. I liked you at first, oxygen guy, but now you're being a woman. How am I being a woman? By asking you what you want us to talk about, I'm giving you the floor. I'm saying, Adam, you're a subscriber. You're a supporter. Thank you so much. You're wonderful. Obviously, you don't want us to talk about Bubba. I don't want to talk about Bubba. So can you please give us a topic that you want us to talk about? Or are you going to let the entertainers entertain while you be a mark and you sit there and suck it up like the succubus that you are? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting these chats up. So I'm putting these chats up because here, here's the thing. When I'm saying when, when I say stuff, let me on. I don't have a way to get you on, Adam. Come on, Adam. What do you want to talk about? Adam, you got what? Twitter or uh, or uh, Instagram or? Is this the Adam show or the Jake Hudson show? I, I'm confused. I think we need to move past Adam. Because he's taken, he's he sucked the content away, he sucked the energy away, and now he's turned it around into a negative. So I, I'm all set with Adam. Adam can suck it, and we can talk about what the fuck we want to talk about. So Bobby, my Nick, what a up, cousin? 
It's been hey. a mad long time since I talked to your ass. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while, buddy. I bet you done had 17 cigarettes already today. Probably. Probably. Hell yeah. If I smoked, yeah. I had the craving for cigarettes yesterday. I was just sitting here and I'm thinking, man, if I could just get my hands on a cigarette and just drag that bitch right down. <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh. Here, 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 here's the oh, thing. Yeah. Number one, who, who the fuck cares about Aaron? And who? And here's the thing. What about who the fuck is is Aaron M. Holt? Who the fuck cares about wrestling? We were talking about wrestling. Who the fuck cares about food? Who the fuck cares about beverages? Who the fuck cares about anything? When you're a negative fat piece of shit and you got nothing but time to lay around and type into a fucking chat room, then already you're watching us. You're the fucking loser. Guess what? So fucking blow me, Adam. How about that? You want content? You want content? I got I'm, content I'm for him. I'm sending. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to get. Trying to find a way to send him a message. I sent the message. There you go. So, uh, I don't want to put the link in the chat, but I'm going to have to. Just do it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Jake. Hold on. I think. Why does everybody jump on the oxygen in my nose? Why is that the first thing everybody says when they have an argument? That's the first thing they do. Well, let me take it out. I, now I, what you got? Now what do you got for information? I can't breathe. But who cares? Let's go. What are you going to pick on me for now, my beard? You want to pick Adam, on me for my hat? Adam, you what's your Discord? Me? You want to pick on me because I'm fat? Let's go. Come on. Did you say something for the first time that nobody said? Fuck. Eat my Adam, asshole. We're trying, Adam, loser. we're trying to, trying to find a link, trying to get you a link, but I'm about to put the link in the chat. It's the Adam Show, Bobby Nick. Have you ever watched Adam Show before? I heard it sucks big fucking bags of dicks. I've I've talked to the guy in Discord one time. I remember that. Yeah. He's a real Discord. <laughs> He's bringing Discord to this. Jake and, Jake and I were having there a is, nice there, conversation. The reason, I'm, the reason I'm bringing this up right now is because I am going to send the, put the link in the chat. So Our last topic that Jake and I were talking about was my deceased mother and his deceased sister. And that's oh, what we were talking yeah. about. And this uh, fucking asshole decides to come in and derail the whole conversation because he's got Adam. nothing better to do at four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon where he can be hanging out, doing cool stuff, playing video games, hanging out, hanging out with hot girls, banging. Adam, come on in. Chat, uh, links in the chat, Adam, if you want to come I, up. I just want to say, uh, uh, Joe, uh, my deepest uh, condolences about your mom. Buddy. Thank you, brother. She she was all I had. Now yeah. all I got is me and nothing else. So, whatever, dude. I have to accept it. There's nothing I can do to change it. The it I a, I can accept the death. Way. What I can't it's accept is how it happened, Bobby. Because I don't know if you know, but my mother was at the hospital on March 27th, and she was complaining about her gallbladder. However, they only treated her for a blood infection. No treatment for the gallbladder whatsoever. They sent her back to the nursing home to suffer. She was un unable to eat, just like Jake was talking about his dad. My mother oh, couldn't eat because her gallbladder was infected. It was eating up all of her other organs. So after the two months, they sent her back. It was too late. They tried to drain the infection out. They couldn't do surgery because she was in too rough shape. And then she died. And it was all preventable two months before when she was there if they did their fucking jobs. Yeah, it, the, the oh thing God. is, I, I, I just want to say, I just want to say this. Number one, I want to, I want to say this. It's like, and, we, and, 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 and Joe, I'm gonna say this out loud to you. I do, I am gonna, you know, uh, here at the HWR, we are sending our condolences to you and your family about it. Thank you, brother. But I really don't even have any family. The only family I have was my mom's sister, and she called me the day after my mom died and said, "I'm on my own." I had no idea where my mom's life insurance policy was out of. I have no idea about where my all everything was in my mother's tablet. She paid all the bills. I gave her all the money and she paid all the bills. And now I have no idea, nothing, no passwords. I can't access her email. I can't get nobody to go to the to where uh, she was at and get her belongings. And it took me five days, the entire Memorial Day weekend. Finally, the only way I found out about where her life insurance policy was, I called the bank and I said, hey, you guys got any? 
payments going at life insurance. I go, yeah, we got one on May 6th going here. Bam, I got it. I called him. I finally got her out of the morgue into the funeral home she wanted to be in. And she, she wanted to be cremated. So that's what I made happen. And I did it all on my own. And it took all day from the morning until 6.30 p.m. And I finally accomplished through mad phone calls yeah. and mad lies of people telling me they're going to call me back. And I got it all done my fucking self. And I need a motherfucker yeah. to help me. You know what the thing the thing is um um when when dad was going when when we were having to deal with after the fact we were having to deal with the dinners and stuff uh the the mon the, the morning of his dad's funeral I the the dinners came and, and I said hey uh, I told the lady hey um uh, um we're getting ready I was I was getting ready to go to a funeral and my dad passed she actually and the lady actually gave me my dinners and then took the dinners back and put on the paper that person passed. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, we also had to deal, we also had to deal with the oxygen company, but here's the thing. Dad also had a breathing machine. The breathing machine didn't come from that company, it came from another company that we were dealing with. That's the biggest awesome. thing in this whole situation is it started when I first get fell into the situation. They try to tell me that, uh, okay, I need oxygen. So that's why I have the tubes in my nose. They started at one liter, two liters, three liters. Now they got me up to five. Then they, they, I was intubated, so I couldn't eat. So they had to regulate my blood sugar with insulin. So they started poking me with insulin. Now I'm a fucking diabetic. And I was sleeping fine, no snoring, no problems. All of a sudden, oh, well, you have sleep apnea. You need this machine. So it's in their game plan. Just like if you go to the, the eye doctor, they're going to tell you what you need glasses. If you go to the, the whatever, they're going to tell you, you need an inhaler for asthma. You know what I mean? Uh, it's all the I same. Hold on. Is this Adam? Hold on. Is this Adam? <laughs> Adam, is this you? Yeah. Yep. 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 Is that yep, you? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I just got done sucking off three guys and now I'm here. What do you need? <laughs> oh, cool joke. Hey. Cool joke. Oh yes, and I swallowed all their loads too. No waste. Hey Adam, okay. how you doing? I'm sorry. Sorry about this. Not, please don't be mad at me, please. Because of what he's saying. Please be mad at me, Adam. Don't take it out on Jake. He doesn't tell me what to say. I come up with my own thoughts. Boom. Yeah, that's the bad thing. You come up with your own thoughts. That's the you bad look like part. a homeless you guy, by the way. You look like a Adam, fucking homeless uh, guy. Uh, uh, this Adam, is how a uh, beard is supposed to look, like this, like this. You see? Adam, no, I don't uh, see. Let me, uh, or, like a man, like a man. Yeah. Okay, well, Adam. I'm laying in a bed because I can't walk. So I'm in a hospital bed in a nursing home. Ha so this ha, is all. Ha, ha. So this is all I could do. So, if well, you think that saying "ha ha" to a disabled man is fun, I'm fucking disabled. You fuck. Oh, you, look like it. you look like it. I you look like it. Oh, fuck you. you. Look at that. You're a bitch. You want sympathy from people on the internet. You're a faggot. Shut up. I don't want sympathy. Man, I got the same shirt as you, Adam. Oh, you I like it? I don't want sympathy, and I certainly don't need sympathy <laughs> I, from you. I, I, I got, you see that? You see that? I can't see it. Oh, you by the way, Holyo Joe was a former referee. He has refereed for WWE before. before he doesn't he care. Hurt. He's so but filled with hate, it doesn't oh, matter. Uh, Holy Joe, Joe, you were you such a bitch from the moment I came in here. You were a cunt. Fuck you. That's all you got? No, I got more. Keep it coming, bitch. It? Keep it coming, whore. <laughs> oh, you got me. I'm waiting. This sucks. Your content You're a sucks. Geriatric fuck. Geriatric? What does that mean? You're. Uh, uh. I'm 44 years old. How am I geriatric? Well, that's a that's a rough 44, brother. Now I've done a lot more in my life in 40 years than you've done in your than you in your entire life. Oh, you think? In accomplishments, fuck yeah. How many times have you been in the ring with Hulk Hogan? Zero. You can count them on your little. You can count them on your little hand. You don't have. It's called zero, motherfucker. You've never been in the ring with Hulk Hogan. 
how many times you, how many times you've done anything how many television shows you've been on how many radio shows you've been on how many fans do you have how many subscribers do you have how many people do you entertain how long do you stream i stream to 13 to 15 hours every fucking day well, look, and i'm not stop i don't think great I got Joe, something to say. Joe, so when I talk, I Joe. got something to say. I just don't sit here. Why are you interrupting me? Did I interrupt you? When you want to be an idiot and chastise, you want to say stupid shit. I let you go, motherfucker. So now yeah, you're going to let yeah. me go until I say it's time for you to talk. Now you got something sure. to say? Say it, yeah, Adam. You tell me yeah. when to talk, Joe. Yeah, that's what happens. That's dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Nothing. Nothing. You have nothing All to right, say. Joe, let me ask you. Let me ask you, how many, how about this? How many let me ask you, I let me ask you, hey, wait a minute, how about this? Wait, hey, let me ask you, let me ask you, um, 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 let me get my thoughts together. What do you want, Gim? Keep going. What do you want, Gimpy? Keep going. I could go all day. There's no, I will do never it, stop. Do it. Go all day, Joe. Go all day. You fucking what do you want entertainer. Me to say? I am. Do I'm top notch entertainment. I Thank dare you. you. I dare you. You dare me to what? Go all day. Go all day. <laughs> Come on. Go all day. Go all day. No, I'm letting you go now. Go all day. No, I'm letting you show yourself right go now. Go all day. Expose yourself, Adam. What do you have to say, Adam? You are a fat fucking pussy. Okay. And, and you hate. When people talk shit about you on the internet because you're nope. such a fat fucking pussy. Nope. Your words don't affect me. My oh, attitude is so strong. There's nothing. That's all you do is reply to people who talk shit about you. That's all because you do. I got nothing better to do. So what do you, what do you want me to do? You're hurt, bro. You're hurt. Oh, I am hurt. I can't walk. My legs hurt. You're right. All day. Lots of pain. But I don't um, put it over. I don't let my disability control no, I mean, me like you do. You, you are emotionally hurt. You are hurt. You are a broken okay. man. Not just yeah. emotionally. Man. Just, in your mind, you are broken. Okay. Uh, um, let me tell you this, Adam. I didn't even know you were a wrestling fan until you saw, saw your shirt. Yeah, dude. He's a wrestling fan because he's got a wrestling shirt? He couldn't answer three questions right on wrestling trivia, even if it was easy. Number All right, let me number, start. I'm not about to let me some start. Weird, let me, like fucking let me give you one. Now, in 1992, there was a character in WWF called Nails. What was the docket number on the back of his, his prison gear, his prison jumpsuit? That's gay. I don't care. Wow, great answer. So now you're the judge of what's gay, and is gay a bad thing to you? Are you a homophobic? Do you not want to get sucked off by a man? Maria, Maria, what Maria is question here, is that, Joe? By the way, Joe, Maria is here. Maria who? Guatemala. Uh, oh, yeah? Maria Guatemala is the best. She's awesome. I'm giving her oh, moderator. Like she's, she's, she looks like she's Bob Army. Cool. Yeah, she is. She's you ready for moderator. another question? You ready for an easy one? I actually have, Joe, I have a question. Joe, I'm not going to answer have, your questions. You don't. You. I actually. You. You could never ask something of me and make me answer you. You are a beta bitch. You're in a mm. hospital bed with oxygen hooked up to you. I do not fear you, brother. You shouldn't. I have no threat. What? The All fuck I have to offer do? is words. All Nothing. I have to offer is words and truth, and that's what you You're fear. You fear Shut the up. truth. Stop you may think about fearing actions, fear but in actuality, what you fear is the truth. Look, because hey, if you're exposed hey, to the listen, truth, listen, you're a hundred pound retarded listen. loser. Sorry. Uh, let, let, I have a question for both of you. This is this is modern. I'm going to talk some modern wrestling here. Who was the first and only person to win Money in the Bank twice at a WrestleMania, back to back WrestleManias? Oh, that's a good question. Um, maybe the yeah. Miz. <laughs> no, uh, I'll I'll give you guys a, a hint. I don't he need a hint. Came, I already he, know the he, answer. He, he, he I, I'm just not came sure. back. He came back. I'm not. I'm not, back I'm not laying in a hospital series. bed with oxygen hooked up to my nose. It was fucking he, reading he, he, wrestling Wikipedia like this. Queer. Uh, actually, uh, uh, actually, number one, he got beat 
for two minutes and 14 seconds in a UFC ring. The guy oh. also, is also married to AJ Lee. They still don't know? Wow. You still don't know, brother? You see him? He's right behind me on my pillow. You know what, Joe? Uh, You're so cool because you know so much about wrestling. That is so cool, and I'm sure it'll get you a lot of fucking pussy, dude. Uh, I've got uh, more pussy. I don't even want... I'm celibate answer. now. I, I don't even want to have sex anymore. I'm sure I've had you so are much fucking pussy. celibate. If I were you, I'd be celibate too, motherfucker. Yeah. The last by person way, I laid the wood to was your mom. You look fat. You are fat. You're on oxygen. You're in a hospital bed. You are fucking useless. A useless man. I have one hand, and I am more useful than you, than Joe. Have you ever jacked off with your, your stump, Adam? Oh, you got me. Ha, ha, ha. Or do you stump your asshole? Guess what? I did get out of bed today. Guess you you can't fucking say that, you fat faggot. What's up? Hello? Hello? Uh, um, hey, I'm tweeting Jim, this out right doing? now. I'm putting uh, two cripples are fighting it out right now on Jake Hudson's show. By the way, it was CM Punk. By the way, it was CM Punk. The, the, it was CM Punk that was behind me on my pillow. You're right about that. Jake, I stuck in toilet. I need snake. Need snake. Hey, get out. Hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm doing good. I stuck in toilet. Jim, every time oh, you come in, you, you, by the way, I just want to say. Bebo, that, thank Adam, you for the resub, Adam, brother. Adam, I do apologize that you had you have to do this. I'm sorry that you have to do deal with this guy. Oh, it's okay, dude. It's. It, I don't no, care. This is great. It's, it's, it's cool. great I, I don't even hate this guy. It's just like, so, don't fucking talk. Let me get this straight, Jake Hudson. Let me get this straight, Jake. You're apologizing to him because of what he said to me? What he said no, to me no, is, no, is no, far no, worse no, than what I said to him. No, and you're Joe, apologizing Joe, to him no, for me? No, Joe, 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 you deserve no oxygen. None. No. I just keep letting you expose yourself and bury yourself because I haven't said anything like that to you whatsoever. Joe, uh, you just said something about my stump. disability. You fucking asshole. Now you're lying two minutes later. Like a fucking pussy. Get your tail from between your legs and start wagging. Oh, he froze. He froze mid-sentence. This is great. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Oh, he's gone. Okay, He'll be back. He'll be back, I'm sure. Here uh, I'm sorry. Let's I'm let sorry. Jake talk now. Guys, number one, this is my show, and I know that I know that people are gonna say <laughs> by the way, he, uh by the way, Nimrod said um uh, Thank you. By the way, Bobby, thank you for bring, thank you for not thank you for uh this is the reason why Bobby's here is Bobby's my producer. Oh he, yeah. He, he Bobby Nick, can I ask you a question? Yeah, brother. Was that not phenomenal content? It was good. It was great. Is that other than just sitting around not having anything to talk about, having yeah, dead I air? I hope he comes back. I hope he comes back. Whether he does or he doesn't, you can't even though it was contentious and even though it was what some would say bad that's good content yeah. mm -hmm. sitting around and agreeing uh, with one another uh, is nothing uh, anybody uh, could do that does he know who, the, does he, know who you, you, listen, he might not know who you are he doesn't know who the fuck I am and it doesn't matter it, I, I don't care the reason why he came on is because we wanted him to the reason why is because he was in the chat chasing clout he wants to be something and that's why he said what he said to get the attention that he got so he can get himself on the screen so he can show his ugly, get his stumped out hand, and that's it. And now he can go on and have a happy life and go tell whoever he wants to tell, hey, I was on the Jake Hudson show today, and I really gave it to this guy. I told him he was fat. I told him he oxygen in his nose, and I told him he was at a hospital. Oh, I said that four times, too. I really got over on him. Bobby, honest question. Who was more rude be, and be honest if i was more rude then i win great but between me and adam who was actually more rude and who was handling himself more professional 
I would say he was he was more going for the lower shots. Uh, I guess that, that it is what it is. Like you know. So there's no need to apologize to him for me, correct? I wouldn't I say so. Say if anything, I, mean, I, I was on. I, I, I kind of just, I kind of just walked into this. I'm not sure what broke this out. So, so I'll tell you. Let me just give you a little run back for a second. Jake and I were conducting business. Jake and I were talking about wrestling. We were talking about Bubba. We were talking about my mom. We were yeah. talking about every little. Jake was we're talking about, about talking his about family. And, and we were having a conversation. Happened, and Adam right. came up and said, "Who cares about Bubba?" I was. I brought up. I brought up the first. What I the reason I brought Bubba up is because I brought up Dan Diaco <laughs> and Jay Diaco, and because Heron should have kept his mouth. Lawyers would have said, if, if if his lawyer was a good lawyer, he would say, "Shut the fuck up." And, and Adam, no, Adam, get back up Adam, here. Come on, Adam, get back up here. Adam, I do <laughs> want to say thank you for coming on. You know, and the thing is, it's I. And the thing is, this controversy makes cash. Right. Everybody, oh, he getting paid. Wow. But the controversy no. has to be yeah, good. It's a pants house. It's a you, you can't. You if you're gonna see controversy creates cash. That's a that's a Eric Bischoff book, and you know that. And it makes sense when the controversy is good. When all you have is the same rhetoric over and over again. You're fat. You're in a hospital bed. You're on oxygen. You're fat. You're on oxygen. You're in a hospital bed. Look at you. You're fat. You're on oxygen. We both are wearing winter hats. We both have beards that are too long. We're both disabled. Obviously, we're both entertained say. by wrestling. So we could agree probably on a thousand things, even though we disagree on one. But he chooses to be a dick instead of to be nice and be cordial and be a friend. I can be nice yeah. to anyone. Joe. I can be nice to anyone anytime. But if somebody wants to fucking come at me, guess what? I'm going to come back 10 times harder because I'm 10 times smarter and I know more truth than anybody else that I've ever met. And I've done more than anybody else I've ever met. And I'm going to live by that and stand on that and I'll die by that too. Hey, Joe, you know, shall we know, keep it going? Know. You want me to fight with you? No. If you want to no. fight, I love to fight. Okay. No, when, when he, when he you got beard. Here, <laughs> when he first popped in here, I was like, holy shit. He's the fucking un, uh, unfat version of Holy Oak. Because <laughs> he's literally got the same fucking beard as you and everything. Yeah, man. yeah you got beard. You beard bad. Except no he's beard. got a wrestling shirt. Well, you say beard bad now, but where do you feel it between your legs? Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 no. Oh, uh, no. You're homosexual. And I got syrup in my food for breakfast. So you know, just, touch my empanada. I slap you. Sticky hard beer. Yeah, I'm going to take your chicken uh, empanadilla and I'm going to put it in some queso. And then I'm going to no. dip it in my mouth. No, you mean. You mean, man. I mean? Why does that mean? Because I want to mean- eat your empanada. How, how does that make me mean? Why you want to eat my empanada? My empanada, not yours. I haven't had empanadas in so long. I used to get them at the restaurant on the border. It was right next to my home all the time. But now I'm out in Boston, Massachusetts. And I haven't even looked for an on the border out here. I need empanadas. Hello? I, I slap you right in your penis. You can slap my penis and I'll get enjoyed by it. And I'll have you slap it again. Slap oh, it no. around. You know? make, make, make my penis your bitch. Oh, no. You offered to slap the penis. What do you fucking think? Now you get to back off and say you're not going to slap the penis? Are you a man? You a oh, what yeah. You oh, yeah. I pick your oh, nose. I pick way, your uh, nose. Way, that's, uh, Joe, that's Jim in a, a disguise. Oh, that's Hot Chris doing a fake voice? No. <laughs> my name is Kiki Rodriguez Sanchez Kiki Esquire. Rodriguez. Do you sound like the kind of guy I want to get into a modern day 69 with? But that's real. Us real guys, we do it on our sides. I no. found out. I, I found out how to do it. We're gonna do it on our sides. Free Harvey yeah. Weinstein. That's why there's no dominant. See, if you 69 with one person on top, that's the dominant person. But if you're on your sides, you're on equal playing ground. It's all about it's all about being fair. It's yeah. all about fair. You know what? Uh, melancholy mean? says it's not a beard, it's a pubic scarf from all the pussy. <laughs> hey, Nimrod, come on up, Nimrod, and bring and bring a toke. Well, I'm actually. It's funny you guys brought that up because I'm actually trying to grow my beard so long that I can connect it with extensions to my pubes, and then I'm going to have it on the outside of my clothes. 
from my oh, shoe. You turn into a suitcase. They turn you into a suitcase. Yeah, except I'm very fat, so I'm quite the heavy suitcase. It's going to take at least four people to carry this suitcase. Adam has two hands, says, uh, my beard is way more better. Uh, you tripping, uh, LOL. Uh, this Joe guy is retarded. And Nimrod says, Arriba! Andale, andale, andale! Come on up uh, and bring and bring 2K, 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 2K. 2K. 2K is the correct term, sir. I want to do it, but I want to call my puppet 2 gay. And I want to have it be like a, a gay puppet, yeah, that hits on other puppets and makes them real feel really uncomfortable. I'm not Bobby looking at like me. Have it like rainbow <laughs> colors, you know? Yeah, I think the the rhetoric will make it obvious enough. We don't need the visual aspect. When he tries to go down on other puppets, he's I think that's going to seal the deal right there. Oh, he's at work. He's at work. Yeah, See, that's a, that's a real man right there. A real man is at work. A real man doesn't have time. The only reason I have time to appear on this stream right now is because I'm in a hospital bed for 24 hours a day and I can't walk. If I could walk, I'd be working. I wouldn't have time to appear on the stream right now, nor would I have time to chat. So that just goes to show you what kind of person Adam is. Do you have a wheelchair? I can't put my legs down. I need to keep my legs elevated at all times above my heart. Otherwise, oh, it's, it's the end. So I can't even sit on the edge of the bed. I can't go into a wheelchair. I can't go out. I haven't. I mean, I've been outdoors in the past four years, but only to transfer from an ambulance back into a bed somewhere. I'm they not complaining. Roll. I'm just updating you on the situation. I'm I'm perfectly cool with it because I know that if I could walk, I would go right back to making thousands of dollars a day. I would go right back to the whores. I'd go right back to the drugs. And God is blessing me, actually, by keeping me in this situation. He's keeping me safe. He's keeping the world safe from me. And it's all for good. Everything God does is for good. Romans 8.28 says, God works all things together for the good for those who believe. Not just good things, but also the bad. So even though there's bad things that happen, God is still working them together for the good. Everything that I've been through since I first entered this situation has been preparation to get me where I'm at now. Starting to figure out how to live on my own. My mother's always been there for me my whole life. You know? Just figuring out, like, I've never had to bury a parent before. So figuring that system out and things that I could have done differently. Like I could have asked for an autopsy the night I talked to the doctor. But instead I didn't think about it until four days later when I realized, wait a minute, the hospital killed my mom. And then when I requested it, they denied it because they said it had been too long. So I got bigger things to worry about than Adam and his one hand guitar playing skills or Adam thinks he's a Def Leppard drummer or whatever. I'll make a rock reference for you, Bobby Nick. I know you love that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, Adam has two hands. Says, uh, "No legs, Joe." And What's the name said, of that? No, I have two yeah, middle Joe. Middle. They were talking about you when they wrote the Bible. This guy is so fragile. LOL. <laughs> do you really think that what Adam says matters? Do you think I give a fuck right now what Adam says, or I'll give a fuck a minute from now, or an hour, or two, three, four from now? No, no nothing Adam think. says matters. You know why? Because it's worse. I, 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 hope, I hope he comes back to my stream. I, I hope he comes back later. I hope he comes. I hope he doesn't. I think I think his internet might have shit the bed or something. Well, let me ask you this, Jake. Does he donate money? I don't want to. Don't want to answer that. Is, but at the end, that means no. So if he's never donated a penny to your show, then he's fucking worthless. The people that I cater to on my stream are the people. Where'd you go? Oh, those are the people. Jake. Those are the people that I cater to, the people that subscribe, my subscribers, and the people that cheer bits. No, I'm not going to cater to some some shill that comes into my chat and tries to make trouble with other people, especially when I'm a guest on your show. I'm taking my time and I'm giving it to you for the benefit of your show. I feel like I'm bringing some content to your show, not just a fat, lazy guy with oxygen in his nose laying in a bed and can't walk. You feel me, Bobby? Do you agree or no? I agree. I agree 100%. Yeah. So I could be fat. I could suck. 
I could sit here and say nothing. I could drive no content. I could be boring. I have nothing to offer. But instead, just like my first hour of turning on my stream this morning, I rattled out about 25 stories, one to the next to the next, perfect segues about things in the past, love, history, wrestling, radio, everything in one hour, just straight fire, straight fire. And the viewers just kept going up and up and up and up and up. And everybody was holding and everybody was staying and everybody was interacting. And it was awesome. So I feel like I have something to bring to the table. If I suck, if I ruin your show, if I'm not worth having around, then let me know. And I just won't have, I won't be a part of it. If Adam is that important that you're willing to lose out on this content and he's never cheered a penny and he's never done nothing, he's never subbed, then whatever. But, I mean, I didn't come on here today to uh, talk to you, Jake, to argue with Adam. Well, he, Adam has two hands, says, uh, Jake, I'm sending you $50 right now to shut this dumb fuck up. Perfect. Then it worked. Just like it does in the Bubba Show. I call the Bubba Show and I get sniped off. People pay to get me off. What's your cash app, Jake? I got all the links. Links are in the description. And... And once he sends that $50, then he'll know that he got worked because that was my game plan the whole time. That's why I brought up the fact that Adam's never given you any money is because it's a dare. I worked him. I exposed him. I got him. Now, if he follows through, let's see. I doubt he does. I would bet. I would bet that he doesn't even follow through with what he's giving. And then if he does, I bet you that he, he cancels it and does a chargeback on his card for it. That's my guess. but. Whatever. If Jake, I pray uh, to God that you get 50 bucks off of this because then the content would really be worth it because then you have phenomenal content on your stream and you'll have 50 bucks to show for it. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh. Meanwhile, I'm ignoring the subscribers that are coming in and the people my in my chat and my the people on my stream. Uh, one of the links is my cash app. Don't, uh, don't get too excited, Jake. I know it sounds good that he's going to send you 50 bucks. And again, I pray to God that he does. But this guy, the things that are coming out of his mouth is weak. Here's something. Bobby Nick, I want to show you something. Something I learned a long time ago when it's always held true. Listen to what other people are accusing you of. And they'll tell you exactly what they're guilty of. Does that make sense? Yeah. So many times it's held true. Has somebody ever called you a liar? I think yeah, I think I think ninety five percent of the time that's truth. If somebody's calling you a liar, they're a liar. If somebody's calling you a thief, they're a thief. If somebody says you're a piece of shit, they're a piece of shit, really. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Who's that over there? Christopher? Is that oh my god, is that hot Chris? No, it's Can just we... me. Yes. I love you, brother. I miss you. <laughs> hey, um, I just want to say that number one, I'm not trying to start. I'm I'm not trying to start anything here. You didn't try to start I, nothing. He started in the chat when he started running his mouth, and then we invited him on the stream. He could have been decent. He could have came up here with his ugly little skinny little homeless looking picture, and he could have said, "Hey, man, you know, I'm just sick and tired of hearing about Bubba. Let's change the subject." And then we'll say, "Yeah, no problem. Let's go. What do you want to talk about?" I want to talk about Metallica. All right, well, let's talk about Metallica. What's your favorite Metallica song? I can riff on anything. Give me one word. I can riff on a topic for an hour plus. Just like if somebody wants to insult me, run me down, talk about oxygen, talk about hats, talk about beards. Come on, talk. I don't give a fuck. Your fucking words don't touch me. No words touch me. Nobody has words strong enough to touch me right now. I have lost absolutely everything. And you know who the most dangerous person in the world is? The person that has nothing left to fucking lose. Uh, so, Cash up is the top one right there. Uh, he's not going to send it. He's a liar, brother. He's a liar, and he's a scumbag, and he's a piece of shit. And you sit there, and you keep kowtowing to him, thinking that for some reason you have to answer to Adam. But when you realize it's the Jake Hudson show, you're the boss, you're the host, you're in charge. What Adam says doesn't fucking matter. He's just a mark on your show. And worst of all, he's the worst type of mark there is. He's a fucking troll. So now we're catering to the troll. We've taken the Jake Hudson show. They were talking about wrestling, bubble. We're talking about our families. We're talking about losing loved ones. We can talk about anything under the sun. Yet we've devoted 20 minutes to a worthless, frail piece of shit 
on meth with one fucking hand that can't even double jack off. Can't even jack somebody off while he's jacking. What the <laughs> fuck? What is he? <laughs> he can't even do a steamboat gimmick. Chris, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What, what do you have I'm to say here. about all this, Chris? From, from an outsider's perspective, based on what's happened, you, you, did you hear Jake and I talking before Adam became topical? Here's what I think. Come on. I think the world is a vampire. Do, 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 do. Set the drain. Yeah. Dude. Is the next, lyric, is the next the... lyric, seek and destroy you? Is that the next lyric? If you guys think this is a good show, tip the fucking stream, y'all. So what do I get for my pay? Hey, 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 hey. Strange desires. Hold you up to the flame. Um, yeah, there it is. Even what does though I know. What does your shirt say, Bobby? What does your shirt what? say, Bobby? What does your shirt say, Bobby? It says, in the lounge. See that, Jay? Nice. It's, it's, it's fat me doing the splits. Pretty fun. So that's yeah. a picture of you on your shirt doing the splits? Yeah. That kicks that ass, man. Me, well, it's, an AI, it, it's an AI version of me. That's fine. Are you selling it? Yeah. No shit. That. How much? Bucks? Uh, it's on T Public, so I think they're uh, mostly. It's on where? Most T Public. Most. Oh, I thought you said Team Bubba. I'm like Team Bubba. Let's go. No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, they're mostly like sixteen dollars shirts when they have sales, but. So what do you do? Create the logo and send it over to them, and they make the shirts. Yeah, yeah. You just upload it to the site and you get it going. It's easy. Car sales are they brisk? Uh, some items are easier to sell than others, but uh, you know, I don't know. They make more than just shirts, too. They make hats now. What's your hottest item? Uh, the Lunatic Lounge shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it got you any sold green one on it today? What's that? It... You sold one today. No, is, there any green... is there any green on the shirt? Uh, on the Lunatic Lounge shirt? Yeah. I don't think so. I've never yeah. seen it, so I'm just trying to get a feel for what it looks like. It must, it must look cool if people want to buy it, people want to wear it, people want to sport it and support it. It looks like the Cheers logo. Oh, dope. Yeah. That's kick out. <laughs> well, the sign oh, no, outside oh, Cheers. Oh, oh, by, oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> he's saying that because he, he bought one for me this morning. Who bought one from who? Chris bought one. Uh, remember, Chris ordered me one this morning, Bobby? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so Chris bought you a Lunatic Lounge shirt, and that's the purchase from today. Yeah. yeah. We pieced it all together. Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm the odd man out. I had nothing to do with it. But Bobby gets a sale thanks to Chris, and Jake gets a shirt. Everybody wins except me. But I win every <laughs> time anyways. I, trust me, I'm just a motherfucking winner. There was something I just yeah. wanted to say that I completely forgot. Oh, I was going to talk about my first shirt that I ever came up with in wrestling. It was for a show that I was running, and <laughs> I decided to use, like, Marvel. You know how they write Marvel? The team I was a part of was High Impact. So we used the Marvel lettering, wrote High Impact. And my girlfriend that drew my tattoo, she drew me and then my other two guys that were in the group on the front. I sold the shirts for 15 bucks or two for 25 because I did two for 25, everybody bought two shirts and I sold out. If I had just done one for 15, I may not have sold out. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about high level marketing. I was getting what I needed back for the shirts and making profit anyways. So it didn't kill me to lose the five on two. It just guaranteed that I'd move the product and sell out. And I did. No. Um, by the way, InfoWars might be, uh, be dead as soon. We might lose InfoWars. Now, is that just Alex Jones, or is that multiple people? That was uh, Alex Jones, Owen Schwire, and uh, Be With a Bump to Bump. Uh, I like Owen. Owen is cute like Chris. All right, I Chris. Never, thank you. Thank you, I Chris. Never heard, I never heard their shows. 
I never, I don't Love know anything brother. about him. Love you, brother. Is he leaving? Yeah, he said the back chat. Fine. I'll miss him. <laughs> I really will. I think he's awesome. I wish we could have seen him. Yeah. Uh, Matt says, uh, Jake should come out with his own line of overalls. I'd buy it. Well, there you I go. agree. Bro, the the overalls, give it. The stream. That's over, bro. The, the overalls are over, man. That's a great idea. Who said that? Give props to that man. Whoever said that. Who is that? Matt? Matt Riddle? Happy yeah, Friday, yeah. Jake. Jake Jake is putting Info Wars out of business with his ratings. Keep it up, Jake. Hell yeah! No, Happy Friday. No, 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 because it, no, because he it, because he uh, Alex Jones is a fucking idiot. Oh, I've never listened to him, so I wouldn't know. Uh, hat right. Uh, <laughs> $100. Why do you want my home address, Hack Ride? Then he wants to order your food. You're looking gone. Tell you some avocados. Tell you some avocados. Yeah, I don't want no fucking avocados. He, he wants to send you a couple cottons. He wants to send you a couple cottons of cigarettes. He knows they're good for you. It builds hair. Hey, hey Bobby Nick, you, you got hair in your chest? I got a little bit. I got a little bit of hair on my chest. A little spaghetti. A little spaghetti and meat sauce. <laughs> hey, Jake, did you already eat today? I already ate. What'd you have? Your mom's spaghetti. That's Jake. You're an idiot. Your mom. His mom's dead. Thanks for reminding me. Sorry. I just realized all of our moms are dead. Oh wow. <laughs> So that means we can all make mom jokes all the way around and not have to worry about offending. Like when my friend's mom passed, I used to have to worry about doing the your mom gimmick. Yeah. Then I Love take you, it back. Jim's mother's not dead. I guess mom might be alive, yeah. Yeah, I know she is. I can tell. I can feel it. I can sense it. So that Jim, means... Is your mom dead? Jim. Oh my god, it's supper time already? That sucks. I was having a nice peaceful day until supper time. Jib. I'm going to keep this tray. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's supper time. The supper's rolling in. Get excited. We're going to find out what it is. What do you think, Bobby? You think it's going to be good or bad? Uh, I don't know how 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 often do they give you something good? There. Never, not even once. I'm gonna say it's bad. You're right. I agree. We're about to find out right now. We're about a few moments away from finding out. I'm really excited. Uh, uh, yeah, our mother's is dead. Uh, Nimrod asked, but is her spaghetti alive? Uh, my no, mom couldn't. My mom couldn't make spaghetti at all. Her spaghetti, the she cooked it too long, so the noodles were too soft. Her sauce was too watery. So I became the spaghetti cooker. I make my angel hair al dente. I make my sauce delicious. The one thing that she, her big thing with the sauce, was sugar. She always wanted to put sugar in her sauce. Thank you, brother. And she thought that that made the huge difference. And to some people, I guess sugar would make a difference. To me, I don't get it. There's enough room, yeah? Yeah? Awesome. Thank you, buddy. So, I, I had a topic this morning I was talking about on my stream. Yeah, I think we could throw that out. Yep. I just want to save the meal because it's still good. It's chicken, it's corn, and um, potatoes. So, I may heat it up later, but maybe not. But I can't if it's gone, right? <laughs> So here's the topic that I thought of this morning. I thought of what if somebody had a disease where they just came at random times, wherever they were, whatever they were doing. Like, like now I'm just here talking to you guys, and all of a sudden, I, oh, 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 like that'd be crazy. You're in the restaurant or you're at McDonald's, and you're ordering, and you just oh, 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 oh. 
and, and, you, and, you knew, and you knew it was coming on because all of a sudden you could feel the boner popping up in your pants. You know what's crazy about boners is I get a random boner every morning around 6.45 and 7, right between those times, guaranteed, every day. There's no reason for it. It's got to be a medical thing because there's no reason to have a boner every day at the same time. It makes no <laughs> sense to me. But like yesterday at 6.45 in the morning. Now, I was sleeping this morning at that time, so I may have gotten a, a morning wood gimmick, but I don't know because I was still sleeping. But yesterday morning, because I get up at 5 every morning, so every morning between 6.45 and 7, that thing becomes a baby's arm holding an apple. And it's it's quite enormous and it's quite tremendous. And I, even I shock myself how nice I'm laying. I'm like, oh, my God. This is nice. I can't resist. I got to just tap it a little bit just to make sure it's, it's real. Like, this seems like a dream. But this is real. Every day I become huge in the morning. There's something to be said for that. Yeah. I think I got to drain my balls more often. What do you think, Bobby Nick? Yeah. All right. So we got our hot water for tea. So that's the good news. I'm gonna look at what's inside of this this uh, plate here. I feel like it's gonna be disastrous. I feel really bad. All right, we ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Bailey. I just lifted it. Oh my God! You won't believe what it is. What? Is I'm gonna it? send the phone over. Hopefully, you can see it. Can y'all see that? Uh, do I need to turn the camera a certain way? Is that beans? I don't know. I can't see it myself. I'm letting y'all see it before I see it. I'll look at the I, I think it's like beans, veg. It looks like puke and veggies. Oh, maybe it's like. Okay. Is it that spaghetti? I don't think that's spaghetti yet. Or. Is there new? I think there might be some. Yeah, I think there might be some spaghetti. Jake nailed it. Bomb spaghetti. On my sweater already. <laughs> He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm, ready to drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He's choking now. Everybody's broken now. Clock's up. Yippee yo, snap back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Oop, yippee yo. Let's yeah, turn it around. Adam, Adam has two hands, says Joe eats slop. Well, you know, it's not it's not of his own choosing. Hey, cocksucker, I had fucking cinnamon roll pancakes from the Cheesecake Factory for brunch. So you want to you wanna blow me or what? <laughs> Just because I show it doesn't mean I'm going to eat it. Now, what's Adam having for supper? I hope he's having corn on the cob. <laughs> corn on the knob? <laughs> corn on the cob. Can you imagine Adam eating corn on the cob with one hand? <laughs> What's another great item you can eat? Maybe he can have. Maybe he can pull apart a lobster with one hand. Oh, by the way, uh, by the way, we actually have a channel. By the way, what's up? Jokes by Farmer Jack. He has fifty thousand subscribers. I just subbed to his channel. Wow. Hey, so did um Adam give you the fifty bucks on Cash App yet? I I he. Mm, mm. I got a warm on my finger. I got to do a blood sugar for. Matt, I my beard don't grow that way. It just don't. It it when it Ready? when it's like right. when it gets longer than it is now, it's like all patchy. And shit. Well, I mean it's oh, already it all patchy. He hasn't gave it yet. He hasn't gave it yet. Up a little bit towards you. Yep, perfect. No fifty dollars. No fifty dollars from Adam yet, Drake. Mm. Is that what you're saying? Mm. I could have told you that as soon as he said he was going to give it. Don't you know the trolls are liars too? Uh, and that's why he hates me so much because he hates the truth. And I tell the truth. He can, he's, allowed he, to on, he's allowed to shit on disabled people, Adam, because he wow. is disabled. <laughs> I missed that because I was busy getting my blood sugar. Joe, you are more disabled than me. 
You are in a bed hooked to oxygen. You are useless. Ooh. He already said that. Remember, he said that like three times when he put his ugly face on the screen. So all he has is the same talking points over and over again. See, I like I like both of you guys. I like both of you guys. And I don't Adam, have any, and I don't have any family. So that little uh, that, Adam's that a good little didn't work either. Well, what is Adam? What is Adam's claim to fame? What has Adam done in his life that makes him worthwhile? Since I'm useless, what? How is Adam worthwhile? Let's let's figure that out first. Nothing. Thought so. I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about the guy. He's not. He has no worth. He doesn't work. He hasn't worked. He probably never worked in his entire life. He He's thinks he likes wrestling. <laughs> he thinks he likes wrestling, but he has no understanding of wrestling. He has no comprehension of wrestling. So he failed there. I mean, jokes by Farmer Jack is laughing. Yeah, by the way, he and has, he by the way, hours a week. You congratulations. I, that's awesome. I appreciate you put, putting in the work, even though you only got a hand. Damn, Let me give you a hand. Really. Here you go, Adam. Let me give you a hand, Adam, for working 50 hours a week. Great job. Uh, Faith Cops uh, says, uh, Adam, you got schooled. Yo. Anybody with a fragment of a brain left in their head knows that Adam comes off like a jackass and I come off like an intelligent, hilarious entertainer. We can draw a line in the sand and see the difference. Now I can act like Adam and say, oh, you only got an oxygen in your nose and you're a fat ass. You lay in a hospital bed because you got oxygen in your nose because you're fat. And you got oxygen in your nose, you're a fat ass. You're laying in a hospital bed and you're useless because you're fat. And you're useless with oxygen in your nose, you're fat in a hospital bed and useless. Mm. Okay, great talking points. Sounds like the I'm, left. I'm, I'm having a bad feeling right now. Feel good, oh. Jake. Feel good, baby. Let's turn the table. Let's turn this around. Let's talk about music. Let's talk about TV. Let's talk about wrestling. Let's talk about life. I mean, I asked you what you had for lunch. Did you ever answer me? No, you made a joke about my mom. So let's try this sorry. again. What'd you have? What'd you have for lunch, Jake? I'm sorry. Matt well, says, okay. I think this can be settled over a game of WWE 2K. <laughs> WWE 2K? Is that the puppet? <laughs> is he dressed as John Cena or is he dressed as the <laughs> rock? Like, that's fucking hilarious. Tell me that joke wasn't just fucking hilarious. Spot on, witty, right on the spot. WWE 2K. That's hilarious. That's that fucking hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, Adam has two hands says, I know I'm a jackass. You act like you're smart. That's the problem. I don't act like I'm smart. I am smart. I went to Catholic school. I graduated high school. I graduated in an electrical program. I could be an electrician, but instead I became a professional wrestler. I wrestled for more than 20 years all over the world while entertaining the listeners of the Bubba the Love Sponge show daily as Joe the Supermark, living my life content-wise on the air, driving content daily for 20 to 30 minutes every single day. And then I ended up in this situation. So because I can't walk, that takes that. Does that negate everything I've done my entire life? Does that negate the fact that I met Leslie Nielsen, Steven Seagal, Alicia Keys, Kiefer Sutherland, Snoop Dogg, Limp Biscuit? I could go on forever. Now, granted, we can't gauge our lives and our experiences on the people we've met if we've met famous people. But have you, Bobby Nick, I'm not picking on you, but let me ask you a question. Have you ever met Limp Biscuit? Have you ever hung out backstage in an after party with Limp Biscuit? No, no, I've never had the blood. Have you ever been in the ring with Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, Sid? You ever been in the ring with Ted DiBiase, Ric Flair? You ever been like, nope. I could go on all day and brag about myself, but I don't have to because my body of work speaks for itself. But the problem with my body of work is everything that I did for my entire life growing up, we don't have the media that we have now. So it doesn't really exist. You can't like just go on the internet and pull up the time that I was in the ring with Hogan, Cena, and Batista in Montreal. You know, you can't. You can't even find it. 
it came out on a WWF DVD called After Raw Goes Off the Air. It's a three-disc set. And I'm one segment on there with Hogan, John Cena, and Batista trying to tear my shirt. I couldn't tear it. We take it off. Hose down on the ring. yippee yo. I have tried for a year to find that on the internet, and I can't. But it came out on the DVD, but I lost everything I have. So when I got ousted from my mother's apartment, I lost everything we've accrued over 40 years. And then when I got put here, now I lost my mother. So now I really have lost absolutely everything that I have in my entire life. Everything. And let Adam come up on a comment and say I deserve it because I'm fat, useless, and I have an oxygen, and I'm in a hospital bed. And I can't walk, and I have no legs. Well, Akrod says, y'all just need to touch tips. Why well, stop at touching that. tips? I go in, baby. I'm a docker. I'm a docker, <laughs> and I'm an edger. I'll dock for hours. I don't care. I'll dock, and right where I get where I need to be, I'm going to pull it back, and I'll go back for more, baby. I'm a docker. Solid. You can't handle this docking. I remember this guy from our show. He's like 25 years old. Right. That's why my character name given to me by Bubba the Love Sponge is Joe the Supermark. I didn't come up with that name. I was given that name. And I and I earn it and I own up to it and I live I live up to it every single day. I'm the first in every single one of Bubba's chats. First in YouTube, then in Rumble, then in Facebook, then in Twitter. First, 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 first. And the first one to put a thumb in down and the first one to bless the show. And when I bless the show in the beginning, we have a phenomenal show every time. During the times where I haven't blessed the show, maybe it hasn't been so good. So I believe in the power of blessings. I believe in the power of faith. I believe in the power of grace. And I believe in the power of strength. And I believe that our joy is our job. So I'm not going to allow Adam to steal my, my joy the same way I wouldn't allow anyone to steal Jake's joy. Jake, I know you're kind of like iffy right now because normally you have a more laid back, calm, just let's just talk about stuff stream. but you never really, you don't get too often. Only when I come around does the heat get turned up. Does that make sense, right, Bobby? Is that a good way to put it? Yeah. yeah. Now, is there anybody else that's a big a heat getter as me that, that has come on Jake's stream? Uh, or does everybody else just lay down and, and just let people talk shit about <laughs> that and welcome it and just say that's okay? Yeah, no, I think. Uh... You're doing, you're doing what you need to do. Oh, I don't need to do anything. Trust me. Anything I'm trying to do, just keep in mind, this is all the work. I'm, this I'm is all just trying to... Hey, I'm just trying to uh, not talk in front of you guys. But we love what you have to say, Jake. This is your show, baby. We're here for you. See, you're the host. Our job as co-hosts is to make you look good. The same way if we take a caller on a radio show, the caller's job is to make the host look good. And if the caller can't do that, the caller's not doing their job. If the co-host can't make the host look good, then we're not doing our job. So right now we're not doing our job because we're not even allowing you to talk. But I'm not asking you questions yeah, and interjecting yeah. with you because I know you feel down right now. You maybe feel a little bit bad. You because, maybe feel because like I feel bad. I feel bad because of all the things that you know this show. What, what I'm worried about, it, by the way, I worry because I'm like, I don't know if I can keep this episode up because of all the stuff that I don't know if I can keep this episode up. Well, let's no, be honest. Let's, let's, you, let's, let's, you can keep it up one. on YouTube. You can keep it up on YouTube, Jake. But what I'm saying is you don't have to worry about anything I said because I'm completely in control of every word that comes out of my mouth. The problem is with the stuff that he got into when he started dropping the F word, not fuck, but he started dropping the F word that we know and he used it in two different ways. That's problematic. Even that going over my stream has cost me a suspension for seven days. That one word that he called me over and over again has he caused me to get suspended. It cost me seven days too. Jackass. That same the same word? You're calling me a jackass now? No, no, sorry. No, no, Jake. I gotta, I gotta get going though, guys. I got another show to do at the top of the hour. All right, uh, we're, 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 we're gonna end anyway. Because, what kind of uh, show are you doing, Bobby Nick? Where are you doing it? Oh, uh, on YouTube. Cut of the jib on YouTube. Uh, oh, all right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.